people who don't have chronic health conditions, if they overtrain, they will also end up developing some problem. Overtraining is a real thing. So when we're saying aerobic, it's something that's a good beneficial base to build around. And research is pretty clear that if you do over 210 minutes of zone two aerobics, then the risk of various diseases go down dramatically, like heart disease, diabetes, hypertension. So that aerobic activity is really important to build that solid base of aerobic function. And then we can layer the high intensity on top of that. So it's not saying that high intensity is bad for you. It's just that some people can't do high intensity because they're not in shape or they have a health condition that precludes them from doing that. And then the ratio, we talk about how much aerobic versus high intensity to do. I've kind of said 80% of your cardiovascular activity should be zone two aerobic and then 20% high intensity. Now that's an arbitrary thing. You can make adjustments to it. What if you did like 79% aerobic and 21% anaerobic? Oh, you're off by 1%. You did it wrong. Like, no, you can make adjustments to it. 